Today's collectible spot, spots looking at something a little bit different. We're having a look at the Gathering Dead or Alive Tina Armstrong 1 6 scale pre painted statue. I'll pick this up from www.e2046.com, a, uh, a site actually where you can get a whole bunch of uh, import statues, such as you see right here with Tina. Um, Spot was a really a big fan of Dead or Alive. It was a game that I played really a lot back in my heyday, back in Spot's heyday. And uh, these are really neat decorative statues. Uh, they're definitely geared more towards the higher end collectors out there uh, as you know again They are they are statued pieces. They're something that you would be putting on display, but you got to be very you know a little more careful with Before we uh, before we open this up and have a look at the 1 6 scale pre-painted statue the front of the box features the artwork of Tina Armstrong and up at the top corner it says gathering that gathering also carries over to the top of the box there gathering there and if we flip it around on the upside down there, uh, it, it says Manufactured Gathering, Soul Agent, www.e2046.com. Again, your website where you can pick these guys up. And just, uh, again, some artwork featured on the side. Spot's going to take a break and uh, get this opened up, just kind of get it out, because it, it has some styrofoam and stuff like that, so we're just going to uh, be careful taking this out. But uh, certainly when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Tina 1 6 scale pre painted statue from Dead or Alive. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's more anyway. Stay tuned. Just to show you what it looks like when you get it out of package, you have your main statue, which I'll show you guys when it's all you know fully put together, and then you have component pieces. Now, each bag is listed by a number. And uh, one piece actually just came out as just the lasso, but uh, one piece, uh, each bag has its own corresponding number. So we have five, uh, four, two, three, and six. And then next to it, you get yourself an Oriex gathering, uh, just a, a breakdown of how everything is assembled in. You have your main piece, your main Tina piece, the lasso number five, the hook that's going to hold the lasso, and then the spurs. Because of the small pieces and the nature of the, the material used, you know, you would not want to have everything packaged with those extra pieces. So it makes sense as to why you would have to assemble those when you get them out of packaging. Um, and then there's just on the other side there, uh, PF8464 assembly guide and then www.e2046.com. Uh, so, having said that, and now that you guys have seen all the little pieces, uh, I'm just going to get these opened up and I'm going to put them on Tina. I'm just going to take a bit of a break. The finished result gives you something that looks like this. And before we have a better look at Tina, she does come with like a little placard stand. When well, actually just comes with a little film, I'll take that right off now. And the stand says the gathering on the front there. I had hoped, if anything, that it would have also had given the name of the character. You know, because if you're going to be displaying it, I kind of wish it had actually said, you know, Tina Armstrong, dead or alive, or, you know, something like that. But uh, you've got gathering there. Kind of like a, like a faux stone uh, placard stand. Very nice. It's a. It's also a great way to display the piece if you've got it in like a like a little glass case, which is probably where I'm going to ultimately put Tina here. I'll just put that to the side. And again, let's have a look at this piece. It's really a spectacular piece. I can tell you, I'm really glad. First of all, it's been painted because Spock could not have gone in and painted this himself. I could not have done it the justice that it has been given um, as. Instead of it just being straight singular uh, color, especially like in the flesh tones, you can see that it has had several different washes of paint been put on there. Um, getting a, a close up look at the face, we'll just bring the camera up here and bring the camera in here. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful looking sculpt. The hair, I love the way that the hair flows. It it has an anime design to it, but it's not a heavily anime look to it either. It's it really has a beautiful, beautiful design. Um, she is very <clears throat> um, in doubt, I would say. 
uh, but like the the sculpt on her is really a phenomenal piece now some assembly was required again I put these spurs in and I put the hook that holds the lasso and the lasso is uh, even though it looks like it's it's looped together it is actually just a, a sculpted piece and it's seamed together at the very top there now sadly when actually when I was putting on speaking of being careful with these pieces when I put it on the hook there's a little hook that actually hooks on and hooks over her pants, her, her belt area here. Uh, that, that piece actually sadly broke off. Um, luckily though, the peg, the peg that holds the hook in, uh, still sat in there, so just you can put the lasso in. But uh, as, as I mentioned, you have to be very careful when putting these pieces on, especially like with the spurs. The spurs were a stronger piece than the hook, but yeah, you still have to be very careful when putting those in. But the details, I love this gold that they put on the boots. And um, she's also got like, I don't know, tassels, which I don't know if you would call it tassels, but tassels around the boot section here, which also carries from her arm section. She's got a really seductive pose also. Uh, it's it's really, an, again, a fun, fun piece. You could have easily had a standing version of Tina Armstrong, but uh, something like this, I think, conveys a much more artistic look to the, the piece. Uh, again, loving the pose, love the sculpt, but above and beyond that, if this was just, say, a black and white piece, which I think could easily still have been pulled off, but if it was something where I would have had to have gone in and painted this, I could not have done it the justice that the painters have done by the, the, the paint that they put in it. Yeah, I mean, even like the jeans. The jeans uh, look like it should be one singular color, but it's not until you actually start looking at the uh, the individual paint that you can see that there's a lighter wash that they've put on the the areas where the jeans would have uh, been folded or creased. Uh, that area is lighter than the darker color of the rest of the jeans. The question Spot should probably be asking himself is, what thumbnail am I going to possibly use for this review? Probably something that looks like maybe that. I also like the hair too. Uh, they put a like a darker coloring from like the middle area of the roots and carried it out. So it's not really just this lighter blonde that they're using. It's that darker color gradually migrating itself into the lighter color. And you can even see too where the lighter strands of blonde are mixing in with the, the more golder blonde color that they've put in there as well. Uh, I really hope, I, I do sincerely hope that they, uh, they're they going to continue this line of Dead or Alive characters. Uh, again, I was a big fan of Dead or Alive. I played a lot of it when, I'm trying to even think of when Dead or Alive was really, really big. I almost want to say it was high school, but I think it was probably even after high school I was really getting into it. Um, but, I mean, that I, I have to say, like, Gathering did a fantastic job on the piece. And there's just, like, again, the undersides of it. You, even, like, the smallest of details, like the un... Uh, unfastened belt you can see there the tassels from the gloves even like areas where it should te technically not be finished uh, like the, the the undersides of the leg and especially like the hands the hands are fully sculpted though it really be a piece that you're a, a section of the piece where you're really not even going to see it if you are interested in picking this piece up for yourself you can head over to www.e2046.com and uh, you can add this to your collection as well. Today's collectible spot, Spot was having a look at the gathering, Tina Armstrong 1-6 scale pre-painted statue. Again, it's such a beautiful piece. If you're a fan of Dead or Alive, you're gonna wanna add, to add this to your collection. Stay tuned guys, Spot's gonna have more collectible spots heading your way. Certainly, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.